Hey Simmers, it's Passions and welcome to my channel and to a brand new Sims 3 Let's Play. Now this is going to be my last Sims 3 Let's Play in God knows when how long is going to be the next time I'll do another Sims 3 LP because The Sims 4 is around the corner and I'm going to be dedicating my time in doing LPs for The Sims 4. Um, this LP... I was asked to do this special LP by Mark Stone from Sims World TV. I'm sure a lot of you know who he is in the Sims community. And also, he asked Lucky Girl to do um, this special um, Let's Play. So, it's a, a collaboration that I'm going to be doing with Lucky Girl. And um, I'm going to be doing the girl version, which is my beautiful Isabel Ruiz. And she's going to be doing the male version. Now, as you can see from the video description, this LP is called The Halves Lifestyle of Rich Sim. So basically, we are going to be controlling um, Isabel's super wealthy um, life as she lives her life as a rich sim, visiting clubs, yachting, vacationing, you know, falling in love, drama, you know, all that good stuff. And um, I am so excited to be doing this little LP. Um, very happy to to do this, and um, very honored that Mark asked me to do this. And it's very exciting, and I, and I'm glad that I agreed to do this LP. I really am. I had a lots and lots of fun doing this little series. It's a short series. It only consists of eight parts, like about half hour episodes each, and. Um, and yeah, and I've had a lot of fun doing this LP, working together with Lucky Girl and Mark. It's been lots and lots of fun, and I'm looking forward to other great projects now with The Sims 4 coming up. So it's it's awesome. It's I've had lots and lots of fun. Um, to me, it's like a great ending uh, to playing The Sims 3, basically, because this is the last Sims 3 LP that I'm going to be doing, as well as the other LPs I already have airing. Alrighty now, so let's get to know our young lady here, our beautiful um, Isabel. Um, let's see, let me show you her traits. She's a perfectionist, irresistible, genius, hopeless, romantic, computer ways. Her favorites are classical music, favorite food is lobster thermidor, favorite color is pink, She's a level two in the celebrity, uh, as a celebrity. Um, she's a cancer, of course. And um, she's at level seven in her science career, which she's almost there at fulfilling it. She needs to reach level nine in science career. So she's almost there. Um, and, uh, yeah, she needs to work on her gardening and handiness skills, which we will, are doing. These are all her awesome skills that she, we've been working on very hard. And, uh, yeah, so here they are. She needs to work on gardening and handy. So, yeah, we're doing good. And, boom, she is involved in a triangle. Well, let's say in a quad quadrangle because, you know, she's, she, you know, she, she tends to, uh, to go out drinking sometimes and, um, unfortunately tends to, for for guys very easily and you know she tends to get her heart broken a lot because you know they turn out to be bastards you know they're only interested in her money they're not interested in her per se i'm like she's beautiful look at this hot mama you know and they they just interested in her and her money right right now she's involved with these three guys she seems to be taking a liking to mr devin ashton like, she really is liking him. She wants to woohoo with him. She wants to go out, out on, on another date with him. And, like, she really is interested in getting to know um, Devin a lot. Um, she likes Romeo, and she definitely likes Ebenezer. But she seems to be t gearing herself towards Devin. But we'll see what happens. You know, things can happen down the road. And, um, you know, we'll see. Um, I have lots and lots of surprises for you guys with this um, LP. It's just so much fun. Um, but yeah, so we're going to let her, you know, go on this date with Devin and who with him and all that stuff. This is what she wants to do. So we're going to let her do it. 
We're going to be having lots of fun. We're going to be traveling with her because that's what she likes to do. Going out clubbing, having lots of fun and enjoying life. But of course, she's not all about the good stuff and spending her money and, and stuff like that. Don't get her wrong. She did not come to, she was not born into the rich life. So let me tell you a little bit about Mrs. Uh, Isabella Ruiz. You know, her story is a very simple story. Isabel um, wasn't born with a silver spoon in her mouth. She got rich by working hard to the bone. She became an orphan at a young age. It was rough in the orphanage. She vowed to work hard never, never to give up when things got tough. She was a smart, bright girl and at the top of her class. She majored in major science discoveries, figured out the cure for lycanthropy, vampirism, and sumpification, etc., and became a well-known scientist, sold her cures, and became insanely rich. Everyone that sees her think they can take advantage of her, but soon realize they can't. She's tough, smart, sexy, sassy, and classy. Men get intimidated by her, independence, and women of power isn't shy to flaunt her riches from attending private parties, expensive clubs, going out on every expensive vacation on her boat and wearing expensive clothing line and driving her expensive pink car. Even though she has all the riches in the world, there's one thing she yearns and doesn't have and that's a man's true heart, his love. Someone that is willing to accept her for who she is, kind, smart, independent, understanding, and very rich. Will she find her true love? Or be alone in her riches. All right. So, like I said, her story is a very simple one. And all she yearns to have is to find her true love, uh, reach at the top level of her career, and get married. That is her goals in life right now. And that's what we're going to try to succeed for her. That's what we're going to try to do. But we're also going to do it in having fun fun because she's young she's beautiful and she she likes to have fun and enjoy the things that she didn't have when she was growing up all right so the first thing we're going to do with uh, miss isabel is let's see let's get her changed into comfortable wait get her chained into her everyday wear and um, let's bring these walls down a little bit there we go and uh, oops y'all want to see what she's wearing don't you there you go look at her she is a gorgeous Ugh, I just love her she's so beautiful I had so much fun creating her it was just I love it okay what's this become best friends with Todd who the hell is Todd now oh another guy Okay, yeah. Yes, yeah, I remember him now. He's a bouncer at the Bonsai Lounge. She met him there when she went on her, you know, her little night outings, her little night drinks and stuff. And he was the bouncer there, and they quite took a liking to each other. But I put a little pause on that because I'm like, hello, you're involved with three guys. I'm like, are you serious? You want to add another one to your list? Are you kidding me? But they hit it off, though. They became good friends. And, uh, yeah. So, it looks like she wants to become best friends with him. Which, I don't seem to have a problem with that. She has leftover waffles. So, then I guess we'll have some leftover waffles. All right, now. All right. So, today is what? Today is Leisure Day. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so we're definitely going to have a little fun. So since nobody works today, we're going to ask out after we finish eating our breakfast. Um, Girl, you need to be cleaning after yourself. You cannot be eating and leaving your dirty dishes around. Like, seriously. Ugh. Yes, that is oh. def. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, you, you need to be cleaning after yourself, young lady. Because. See, I can't even do it for you. All right, we'll leave it there. All righty, and then you'll clean it after you finish eating. So, oh, she wants to have a pool party. Oh, we can do that. We can uh, do a pool party. She seems to have quite a lot of friends. 
and stuff. But um, the thing is, I feel kind of bad inviting one and not the other. You know, there's three guys here. Mm. So, uh, yeah. You know, we can do a pool party some other time. But we're definitely going to do this pool party. Definitely. So, we're just early in the series. This is only our first episode. But definitely, she's going to be having lots and lots of pool parties. So we're definitely going to do that. As soon as she fulfills one of these wishes, I guess one of these two, um, we'll definitely grab this one. All right. Uh, first of all, you need to clean after yourself, Isabel. Come on. Come on. Come on. You need to stop being a little piggy. All right. Now let's ask him out on a date. Yeah. Yeah. Was it... I don't even remember if it was Ash, I mean, not Ashton, Devin. Alrighty. Okay, so, ooh, it's cloudy today. Let's say three days until fall. Oh, God. Girl, so we gotta enjoy what's left of the summer. I really prefer summer, I mean, spring and fall. I love spring and fall seasons. I don't like winter. Summer's okay. You know. Alright. There we go. So what can we do? You know what? Since it's leisure day, let's go to the little um, Bridgeport Acres Summer Fest. Let's do that. Why don't we have a little fun at the Summer Festival? Yeah. Let's do that. And then while we're doing that, we're thinking of what can we do to, um, you know, plan this pool party. Like, who I want to invite, who I don't want to invite. You know, do I want it to be at a daytime pool party or nighttime pool party? What? You're not interested right now? You know what? Forget you. Forget you. Um... Let's see, since, where is it? All right, she wants to become best friends. Where is he? All right here. With Todd, so then let's ask, invite out. Not on a date. We want to be best friends with him, but we do not want to ask him on a date. Let's have a friendly day out. Um... All right, let's go to the summer festival with our friend Todd. There we go. And ah, uh, darn it, the pool thingy wish faded. Oh well. Move into a penthouse. You want to move into a penthouse? See, he wants to go out with us. Ooh, we can definitely do that. She wants to move into a penthouse. We'll definitely do that. Um, we'll probably do it in the next couple of episodes or something, but we're definitely going to do it. Let's have fun in our little, you know, house here. Let's enjoy ourselves in our beautiful little home here. And then we'll move into a nice little penthouse. Which, I have the perfect penthouse for her. The perfect one, but I do not want to spoil it. It was created by an awesome simmer, and she did such an awesome house. Such an awesome um, renovation of a penthouse in Bridgeport. It's just beautiful, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, alrighty. Okay. So, are we here? No, we almost here. Okay, so we're here. So let's have a good time. Let's enjoy ourselves here. At the festival. Okay, so let's see. Is he here already? Oh, he's here already. Look at him. He's here already. Girl, you better take it easy. You better take it easy, girl. You better take it easy. <laughs> oh, things need to load up already. Oh, look at him. 
He's just like, gee. Oh. What? Uh. Okay. Are we neurotic or childish? That was like a little combination there. <laughs> All right, so let's go have some fun, Mr. Todd. Um, let's um, let's see what can we do. Ooh, we can go roller skating. Um, let's get friendly. Um, why you wanna ask? Okay, fine. Ask him if he's single. Oh, freaking girl. Shit. Right, we're not going to be able to click on none of these wishes, but since I see them here, we'll definitely... Because I don't want to get rid of this. one is 1500 this one is 1250 and this one's 4500 and this one is definitely... No, 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 we cannot get rid of none of these wishes. For uh, a 200 point wish? I don't think so. Alright, did he answer us? Ugh. Did he answer? You need to stop. Uh, Ask him if he's single. There we go. Oh, and you want to go bowling? Girl, you want to do lots of things. Can you ask Todd if he's single? Come on, Belle. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's do this once more. Okay. Ask if single. Uh -huh. Can we try that again? Mm -hmm. Then we can do some skating. We can play some water balloons. Get ourselves a cute little tan. You know what I'm dying off with the chatting. You know what I noticed? They're talking about science and, and, and stuff. So he's, he likes that. Uh -huh. So, sounds like we got something in common, I guess. Oh, what is this? Oh my god, what is this? What is this? Wait a second. Oh my god, she can take this and, and have a little pet. Oh my god, he's so cute. We have to have him. Girl, you better hurry up and ask him if he's single. We have to have him. Shrew, his name is Shrew. Alright. Can you hurry up before he goes? Abba na woo. Na wiz. Funits do nor? Okay. Fur turva. Zubin ra. Wabba woo. Nanaba. She learned he's family oriented and he's single. Great. Now go catch Shrew. And who? So, so far, they like talking about science. He's single and he's family oriented. So, good, good thing so far about Mr. Todd. Oh, yes, she caught it. You may want to grab these while you're at it since, you know, we can analyze them and stuff. There you go. We can do that. This particular rodent is uncommon amongst other species in its suborder. All right, it's a shrew. Oh my god, that is such a cute little shrew. How much is he worth? Oh wow, 213 simoleons. He's worth a lot, but that's okay because we're going to keep him. He's going to be a cute little pet. All right. Uh, can we find out who's calling us? Let's find out who's calling us and then let's go skating, have a little fun and stuff. Yeah, let's do that. I guess you won't be able to catch the rodents. Who, who's calling us? Uh, Benito Fair would like to chat. No, we don't have time to chat. Um, all right, hurry up and pick up these little bugs here. And where did Todd go? Hey, we were together in a group outing. Where did you go? Beetles. The water beetles. Alright. Um, her first insect. Good for her. Uh, Isabel, can you like move? Oh, okay. 
we're stuck are we come on i don't want to isabel can we move please thank you All right, where is Todd? Did he leave us? Did you leave us? Oh, if you left us, is he in here? No, he's not. How dare he? Is he in the booth? Is he in here? No. Oh, no, he did not. He just left us here. Is he in the bathroom? No, he's not. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you. You just left us. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, good for you. That's okay. See, that's why we are not going to get involved with you. No, we're not. Not this time. There you go, girl. All right. <laughs> Can we, uh, okay, she's getting hungry, she needs to use the bathroom, she's having quite fun, we'll have her get a spray tan, oh my god, but what if something bad happens? <laughs> um, what if something bad happens and the tan Girl, goes wrong? Mad. Girl, hurry up, relax, there we go, you almost got it, you almost got it. She got cute pink skates. Oh, there you go. You did it. All right. Go get tanned. And this fool just left us. Maybe we can finally invite um Devin over. Let's see. And then let's get that spray tan. Ooh, who's this? Deshaun. Alrighty. Come on, let's get tan so we can look nice and glowy tonight when we go out for a couple of drinks. Alright. Alright, um, let's invite him over here. Hopefully he, he wants to have a little fun here. You know what I'm saying? <gasps> He's here. <gasps> he is right here. Oh. He is right here. Now, let's right away give him a romantic. Uh, definitely going to flirt with him. Sure, that sounds like fun. Let's meet here. Oh, we're here already. Okay, girl, go get your tan so you look look all nice and glowy for him. Come on, and we can take him home, or we can publicly woohoo if that's possible. I don't know if it is, but. We can, uh, we can get a greeting card together, I guess. I don't know. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? No, don't leave us. Call over. Don't go. I don't know what is he doing. He is just running around like a fool. What? What is wrong with this boy? Where are you going? Don't leave. Come on, I'm just getting my tan on. Oh, you fool. That's right. Bounce. You and your little lemon. Oh, well. Let's see. Oh, glowy. <gasps> Look at her. She's glowing. 
There's a delicate balance, but when Isabel gets spray tan or stays in the sun just long enough, but not too long, she is rewarded with the skin of a, a bronze goddess. Oh, yeah. Take a look at Isabel, the queen of summer. She is. Look at her. Hot mama. All right. I don't know what the hell this... You know what? We got our tan on. That's all that matters. Let's go home. And then we'll invite Mr. Devin over. Hopefully. Hopefully. He'll come over. And you can get your groove on with him. Alright, so we got our tan on. Learn to skate a little bit. Caught some rodents. Yeah, I say we had a nice time. I think so. Now we're definitely going to go home. Invite Mr. Devin over. See if we can get our groove on with him. And if it does not happen, then we're definitely going to go out on the town. What incarnations? She is driving. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Uh, I just don't know what to say what we just saw. She was uh, flying instead of driving through the air, I guess. All right. Let's see what's going on here. No writing stuff. Okay. Didn't want to do that. No, we want to invite him over. Oh. Who's calling you now? Answer the phone. Find out who's calling you. Who's calling you? Ooh, Mr. Evanessa is calling. Ooh. Okay. Huh. He is chatting with us. Ooh, he wants us to go out. Oh, he just wants to chat? Sure, we'll chat a little bit. Alright. We'll chat for like a few minutes. Alright, who's this? Use, use what? Alright, that's it. No more chatting. Alright, she needs to go to the baño. Alright. Alright, girl, go to the bathroom. And then after you do that... Alright. What is this? You want to play with the rodent? I don't know if you want to do that. Hurry up and use the bathroom already. It's going to be 9 o'clock and I want to invite Devin over. Alrighty. And then I guess we can mix. Mix. I guess we can make something delicious. Um, serve dinner. Oh, Isabel, what did you do? Alright, um, why don't we make, ooh, I think we can make some spaghetti with a veggie sauce. That sounds delicious. Yeah, we can do that. Alright, we need to start working on this car. Um, I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, she loves working on old classic cars. She loves putting them together and um, selling them and making money out of it also. Sorry, I got hung up on something. Maybe we can meet up again soon. Sh what? Sure, I'll come over in a little... What? Boy, make up your mind. And, you know, and she loves, you know, fixing them, making them all nice and beautiful and she loves making that money out of them so this is a hobby of hers so we need to start making some time for this since it takes a long time to put together and all that stuff hopefully before the series ends she's able to fix it all up and make some money out of it all right she should be coming down uh let's see
Okay. So hopefully Devin comes and we can close this first part with him coming over unless he, I don't know, unless if he does come. I hope he comes. She's starving. Girl, well, hurry up and go make that spaghetti. All right, what's this? Uh, become a business partner. Oh, wow. She, I'm telling you, she's a very ambitious girl because she has all these wonderful wishes uh, coming and, and I would love to make them all happen. I would love to make this one fulfilled, but he doesn't seem to be getting here. Oh, <gasps> see what I tell you guys. Look at this view. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. And just look at it. It is a gorgeous view. Isn't this view a gorgeous? Look at this. <sighs> I love Bridgeport. Bridgeport is, I love all my worlds, but Bridgeport is my favorite world of all. Look at the skies, pinks, blues, grays. Oh, it's such an amazing world. And I don't think this fool is coming. Is it him? Is it him? Oh, it's him. Oh, yes. Girl, you better stop cooking. Where you at? Where the heck you at? Did you finish? What? Are you eating your food already? Oh, she's getting ready to, to, to continue cooking it. You know what? Put it down. Put it down. Come on. I know you're starving, but let's introduce yourself to Mr. Devin, and then you get back to cooking. Come on. He's here before he changes his mind, because this kid, he just, he comes, and then he bounces. All right. Uh, romantic. Um, flirt with him. Uh, let's see what else can we do. Fargo. Oh, we can embrace him. Let's open the gates. Let him in. Uh, Benito Fair and Isabel. Okay, I don't care. Girl, where are you? You kidding? Oh, okay, she went out this way. Okay, I guess so. Uh, Mr. Devin, can you like turn around and, and look oh, at us, please? Can you look at us, please? Because we are... Where in the hell is he going now? Why is it that every time she tries to get close to you, you move? Don't you seem to understand? She is trying to get her groove on with you. Don't you want that? Look at her. She looks so beautiful with her tan. I love it. She's gorgeous. Look at her. She is a gorgeous sim. I just love her. I just truly love her. Alright, girl. Come on. Go for yours. Alright. Um. Ugh. She's starving. Alright. Look at him. He is like, oh, what a beauty. Yeah, you're one lucky guy. So don't mess it up. All right. Um. Do you want to? I mean, he's wearing a nice jacket, but what's up with them sneakers? Um. Okay, good. He's coming inside. Great. Now, we need to get this cooking on the move. You need to cook fast, because it's one ten in the morning, and this man is going to leave. Good, come on. There you go. Cook, cook, cook. And then we can... Ask him to come and eat some spaghettis with us. And, um, 
you know, and see if we can get to that point. Alrighty. Hurry up, hurry up. Cook it, hurry up. All right, so she's she's hungry. She's very hungry, but um, she still got 22 hours left, so we can cook it and then we can go and woohoo. I know, but what if she might not want to? She's hungry. She's tired. Ugh, maybe we can at least fulfill her hunger. Come on, Isabel. It's just spaghettis. There you go. Alright. Call group to meal. There we go. Look at that. It looks yummy. Hanging out with you really beats going solo. Please give me a call anytime to chill. How the hell did you hang out with me when you bailed on me? Like, seriously, you bailed on me, Mr. Todd. I have no idea. Alright. Oh no, shoe got loose and what? No! Unto the world, you should have kept them in your inventory. Oh my god. Recapture, recapture, recapture. We need to buy him a freaking tank. Recapture him before he bounces. Oh, damn it. He left us. Mr. Shrew left us. No. Can you try to recapture him somehow? Oh, yes, she can. Where did he go? Damn it. We're trying to recapture a freaking rodent instead of getting our groove on. Oh my god, I can't wait to get my new computer. Seriously. Like, seriously, I can't wait. Where the hell is he? Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Grab the little punk. There we go. Perfect. Found that pesky shoe consuming place in Shurna Territory and prevented future getaways. Oh, he ain't gonna get away. Trust me, he's not gonna get away. Um... Call group for me. Alright. Great. You little... You better stay there. We're definitely gonna buy a little tank. Alright. Um... Where did... the Devin go? Are you leaving? See, I knew that was gonna happen. See, but that's okay. He has to go. That's quite all right. Because I don't think she would wanted to woohoo with him anyways. Because look at her, her mood. All right, let me see. We can try to stop him from going, but I don't know if he's gonna want to stay. Um, invite him inside. Go ahead. Invite him inside. And there we go. Maybe that'll work. I'm like, if he really wanted to leave, he would have left, but, um, he's still hanging around. Can you invite him inside of it? Great. 
great, great, great. Let's try this. Let's try this. Looks like it's just Isabel and Devin now. Hopefully they have a great date. Perfect. Now let's see what can we do. Uh, let's just go for it. You know what? Let's just go for it. I don't know. If he rejects us, he rejects us. I guess we'll have another time to do it. Okay. Uh, you're going to eat in a minute. Relax. You still got 19 hours to go. Oh, are we getting sick now? You better keep your germs to yourself because we just got over a cold not that long ago. Come on. Ask him. Please say yes. Please say yes. <sighs> well, um, she's not desperate. Ooh, I'm desperate for her. Mm. You know, she wants to get her groove on. Mm. I'm getting a bit sleepy. I should head home. That day mm -hmm. went pretty yeah. well, but it had yeah, great mixed of things. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, darn it. Oh, well. Are you getting in the hot tub? Or are you bouncing? Let me know. Because if you're leaving, then I'm going to go eat. You know what? Go eat the thing. He is not coming. All right. All right, guys. We tried. We really, 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 really tried. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do is I am going to end this part here. I really hope you guys like this series. I really hope you guys like this first part. It's going to get better at each, as each part goes along. Girl, don't choke on them spaghettis. I know you're starving. Um... Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. And, uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun doing this LP with Lucky Girl and Mark Stone. And, once again, thanks for watching and happy simming.